Welcome back, Hobo Collectors and Diecast. This leads us to another episode of Curb's Garage. Um, I have a um, part four of my entertainment diecast um, video coming out. But real quick, I was watching Mike Dyson's video in his Black Walls Challenge from um, Nitro. And I just wanted to point out, uh, yeah, the Black Walls, which are um, these wheels right here. Um, and they're used all the way up to today, which is, um, which I think they call them commons or regular wheels now. But there was an era of black walls. And if you look right here, um, uh, Zarnock's book, Black Walls from 1977 to 1989, um, was actually the black wall era. So, uh, even though they made them in the number packs, you'll see black wall wheels. And even today, you'll see the black wall wheels. But there was an era between 77 and 89 that was the black wall era. And that um, era usually had this type of packaging. It was before, it was before the, um, uh, the collector number blue card, um, just right before the blue card. So they had them like this or um, they had the workhorses um, during that time they also had um, the military I can't remember what it was called the, the speed fleet and a few others um, let's see if there's anything on the back of these that we can tell um, can't see no, these don't have anything. But anyhow, I just wanted to point that out real quick before I started that there was a black wall era and um, just a little information for you. Anyhow, all right, let's get to my video. Um, starting off with this Hot Wheels Premium uh, Beatles uh, Volkswagen T1 panel bus. Um, the album cover that you see them walking across is from the Abbey Road album. And if you notice, um, this guy here, Paul McCartney, he's barefoot. And that caused all kinds of uh, theories and controversies. This is pretty nice. It's got nice detail. And um, it's got the road on the top. Kind of a metallic silver paint job. Real Riders. Um, here's some more of the them in the collection um don't know if i'll be chasing those or not um i will keep this as one of the, the ones i'll keep in the package so there's that i also got the led zeppelin set here which i found split between um walmart and uh trader joe's when they came out so i was lucky to get all five there's the hauling gas um, with the first album it has the exploding zeppelin on it and uh, may I like it for the artwork don't particularly like the die cast itself um, here's the other ones and you guys have probably seen these These came out in 2020 I believe um, but it is part of my entertainment series, so I thought I'd share. Here's uh, Led Zeppelin II, their second album, in a super van. And it's got the album art working on it. And then you have uh, one of my favorite albums, although I love almost every Led Zeppelin song. This was a great acoustic album here. Um... And that is the Comeback Medic, which is also was the, um, I believe, the very first uh, mailbox Hot Wheel before it became the Comeback Medic, I think. Maybe wrong. Then here's, uh, I think this is the album that had um, Stairway to Heaven, their iconic song, uh, 67 Austin Minivan. All metal. You got the real rider wheels. We're in detail. And then last but not least is the Highway Hauler, which has the 
iconic Led Zeppelin um, swan song logo on it. You also see 1975 North American Tour. And uh, it's pretty neat. So I did get those. I do have those. And let's see, moving on. Um, I think we left off with the Baywatch. And here's a Mustang. And I want to say this Mustang is from um, from um, 007. I-65 convertible opening engine. It's a Johnny Lightning. I think this was a another 007 Mustang. Hot Wheels. Red on red. Red interior. Black plastic base. And next up, you've got the A-Team van. This one featuring the big donut black wall wheels. And it's actually the uh, Breakwater. Is that what it's called? They beat the Baja Breakwater or something like that. It has an opening hood, but... Uh, all metal, nice, nice heavy piece here. Um, we also have it kind of crusty in the with the real riders. That is a played with a team van right there. If I've ever seen one, and uh, I like it, I like it just like that. Wouldn't change a thing. Same thing, all metal, but it has the rubber rubber wheels. And then here's a more modern uh, AT van. This one has the red little scoop on the top, red anodized five spokes, plastic base. Here's a uh, cute little uh, van and that is from the uh, Anchorman TV show, Will Ferris. Pretty funny show, I'm sure you've seen it. And that is a Hot Wheel, Wheel Rider Wheels. It's a little premium. Here is a uh, Corgi, Starsky and Hutch um, car. And I got a, I'm going to put the Corgi one here. I have a matchbox. One to put right next to it. Matchbox one, I think, is a uh, funny car. And it looks like it is probably a homemade um, custom one, but still cool. Corgi. 
And I got there's a nice Hot Wheel Premium. I like this one. Very clean. I like the black pin lines around the white uh, Nike looking swoop. Very cool black interior. You got the cherry on top. Nice detail. I guess this is uh here's a green light. And I think that's what they call the uh, paint on chrome. That's what it looks like to me. And pretty nice. It's, uh, black interior. Definitely a little bit different size, a little bit bigger. It's got an opening hood, looks like. There you go, engine detail. Metal base. Rubber tires. This was, uh, what's this? This is, um, can't read the brand on there, but there's whatever the brand is. Let's see. Volkswagen panel bus. Which I thought was pretty cool. With the Starscream Hutch um, paint job to it. Couldn't imagine catching very many people in a Volkswagen panel bus. There's the base. Looks like an M2 or a green light. Not sure. Anyhow. And here is a one of those neat little model kits that you could build yourself. And I built this one. Oh, it looks like the bumper got a little jacked up. Let's see if I can fix that. Just a neat little lowered van. That's what I decided to do with it. And let's see if I can. Oh, it just comes down here. That just goes right there. There we go. That just snapped right back in. No big deal. 1965 van. Dodge. Plastic base. Let's see what else we got. This car here, oh my gosh, I forget what uh, show this was from. Let's see, there's a, this is the, oh, this is uh, Evil Knievel's car. Um, you know, OCC is motorcycle, and by the way, his uh, Little wind-up motorcycle uh, with doll jumping toys now reissued. If you guys remember that as a kid, super fun. I'm thinking about getting one. I could play with that thing all day long. Um, some of you older guys may know what I'm talking about, um, but lots of detail. And this was brought to you by Johnny Lightning. <laughs> also, rubber tires on that one. Next up here is uh, from the um, Smoking and the Bandit. Here's that uh, famous um, I don't want to get it wrong. I want to say T-Bird, Firebird, Trans Am, White Tear. This is definitely a um, Yat Ming. Pontiac Trans Am is what it is. And uh, white interior. Hot Wheel, of course, has uh, 
those as well. Um, next, I believe this was a Stephen Queen um, movie. A lot of car chases in this one here. I forget what his character's name was in it. Um, pretty cool movie. I think it's shot a lot in San Francisco. There's the engine detail. And there's the base. Green light. See what else we got in here. There's the another one. I believe this was a um don't think it was the Gone in 60 Seconds. I think it was another Steve McQueen movie. And I forget what the name of it is. I wish I should have um did my research for black interior, nice dark green paint job with the white racing stripes. And uh, there's your chrome uh, plastic base. Um, Bullet, I think that's what it was. Bullet was the movie. And here's Eleanor. I got a few different Eleanors for you to look at. Um, you can go ahead and pick out which one's your favorite. Um, yeah, it's got the metallic silver, the black stripes, and you guys know Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds, and there was actually two Gone in 60 Seconds, um, the recent, well, not really that recent anymore, but the, the one with Angelina Jolie in it, and then there was one in the 70s, which I do have that one as well, this one I think was, um, Based off the latest, this is the green light. Um, yeah. That was the Eleanor. That's the most recent one. And then let's see, I think. Here is another Eleanor. This one. Not sure what brand it is. It's got uh, opening doors, opening hood. Nice uh, detail on the lights. The spokes. Nice front end. It has the opening hood. Yes, I can't believe it's made in China, but I just can't see the brand name. And then here is uh, another one. This one's more chrome to it. That might be the original. Um, Eleanor from the original movie. Nice chrome paint job. Kind of looks like the Hot Wheel Club cars, like the Boss Haas. This one has an opening engine as well. Got some nice detail. And actually, this is one of my favorite. This is from Gone in 60 Seconds as well. And uh, this Manta right here was from the original one. I actually remember seeing it, watching the original movie, seeing that car, and going, God, I wonder if uh, any of the die cast people made that. And then a couple days later, I was at a, a guy's house that sold uh, die cast out of his garage, and there it was in a package. 
Couldn't believe it. Grabbed it right away. It's super bitchin'. Love it. And, uh, not even sure. Ertl, I think, was the brand. Yeah, Ertl. So, super cool, um, car. And I'm gonna leave it at that. That's 20 minutes. And then, uh, we'll work on the next video. So, stay tuned.